Well, Thanksgiving is just a week away, and while many will be spending it around a table in their own home, 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett explains why that's not necessarily the case for hundreds of students in Roanoke City. When you hear the word homeless, you might think of someone sleeping on the streets or staying at a shelter. But for hundreds of kids in Roanoke City Public Schools, their reality looks different. They're living with family or friends um, because they don't really have permanent housing at the time. Um, and then also families living in hotels. Melora Horn works with the school division to identify students without permanent housing. Currently, there are 406 students experiencing homelessness. Roanoke City's numbers have been dropping over the past few years in line with national trends. During the 2018 to 19 school year, they hit a record 761 students, dropping to 553 the following year, then 519 last year. But Horn says the number's probably higher. No matter what our number, currently is, there's always many more that we don't know about. Horn says those students are at a higher risk of dropping out, substance abuse, incarceration, and even human trafficking. And the pandemic made matters worse. We have um, had many more cases of, of families not having permanent housing because they did flee a domestic violence situation. Since the nationwide eviction moratorium has ended, Horn expects the numbers to rise again. She says that's why it's so important to recognize the problem and connect these students to resources they need by providing air mattresses, clothing, food, school supplies, and more. A lot of people in this country are a paycheck away from being in a place that they might find themselves without a lot of resources. In Roanoke, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you. The school district is hosting a drive through breakfast with Santa on December 11th to raise money to support these families. Look for that information with this story on WSLS.com.